Hey everybody, welcome to Sports Central. I'm Mark Jackson. No, this is not Hank Longo. To my right, to your left, on your TV dial. They don't have dials anymore, I guess. No, you're showing your age there. Yeah, well, this is Mr. <laughs> Neil Duncan talking about my age. Yeah. Well, you're just like a year or two younger than me. Not even close. Hey, this segment brought to us by the Hyatt Place in Lakeland and uh, Good Partners right next to the Lakeland, Lakeland Center. Lakeland Center, what a nice segue. segue. <laughs> there we go. Wow. You know, the Lakeland Center has just been unbelievable. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's the premier indoor facility for sporting events in Polk County, bar none. And of course, all the other great stuff that had, you know, the meeting facilities, uh, which are also used for sporting mm -hmm. events. Mm -hmm. And then the Yuki Theater, which, uh, I mean, I still think that the Yuki Theater is one of the best theaters in all of Central Florida. Well, it's a great venue. All and, of Central yeah, Florida. Yeah, and it's got a, a lot of uh, different uh, areas you can use and multi-purpose facility. And Mike LePan is here from the Lakeland Center. Uh, Runs the show over there, and uh, Mike, uh, you know, it was a it was a good product when you got there. It's a fantastic product now. And uh, what's new at the Lakeland Center? Thank you. Well, we we've had a great summer. Actually, we just uh, coming off the Sunshine State Games and had a great run with the Sunshine State Games for, gosh, like our fifth year in a row now. And uh, they become good partners for us. You got to um, give your, your you, they staff use a just, break after that one. That's a rough one. And they can use it. We're doing a lot of uh, touch up, paint up, clean up right now, and getting ready for the fall. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got a great lineup coming next fall. So. Right now, we do have a little bit of a lull. Uh, Feld Entertainment will be bringing the ice show in, where in the past they've come in for six weeks. This year, they're going to be coming in for three weeks. Uh -huh. uh, that's a result of them building a new uh, headquarters down in um, uh, Palmetto. But uh, My they'll still be back. Building their building. Yeah, they'll still be back. Yeah. It's going to be great. And uh, so they'll be in in September with the ice show and with Disney Live in the theater. So we just got a little bit of a lull right now, and we're taking advantage of it. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. But you had. You know, we're talking about being busy, but the spring with the Florida High School yeah. Athletic Association, you guys were running nonstop. Yeah, yeah. The, the tournament was a great tournament this year. You know, and this was the first year that they've actually showed the tournament live on Bright House. Mm -hmm. And I was a little bit concerned thinking the numbers would go down. And in fact, it, with the draw that we had, which was a decent draw, uh, the numbers actually went up. Really? So we actually saw an increase of about 1,800 over last year, which which uh, really made me a little bit more comfortable because I was concerned about uh, seeing a drop. Uh, they had seen a drop in football in Orlando. Mm -hmm. I think basketball is a different animal. People more more comfortable going into the smaller venue than making the ride to go see the championships over there in, in Orlando, wherever they may have them. Uh, so we actually went up on our numbers. We had a great year with the FHSA. The interactive sports experience was great for us. We plan on bringing that back in, again next year. We had the new relationship with Under Armour that uh, we're sharing with FHSA in that relationship. Okay. They're coming back again next year. And so I think we're poised to do our final year of this contract. We've also given them an extension uh, proposal, which they have favorably received. They haven't, said, they haven't approved it yet, but right. they've received it favorably. And I, I think that all indications are we'll be extending the championships. I don't see any reason why they would not want to come back to us. We provide a great venue, providing a great staff, not only for basketball, but the, the volunteers for wrestling are, are better than any volunteer group you're going to find in any of the other championships. And so there's, we haven't given them any reason not to want to come back. Right. And the fact that uh, we're centrally located, um, and then we're looking at the renovation at 17, and we've talked to them about you know, staying on to making sure that they're a part of that renovation and part of that new, uh, new venue. Because they like to put their athletes in the best venues they possibly can. We think that uh, come 17, 18, we do renovation, will be a great venue for them. Well, and you guys are being proactive in, in your <laughs> efforts to keep the FHSA here in Lakeland. And it's been an event that statewide has been known that if you're, if you're making it to the pinnacle of the sport, you're going to Lakeland. You want to get mm -hmm. to Lakeland. That's kind of the battle cry. You know, the NCAA championships change every year where they're at. The high school championships mm -hmm. in the state of Florida for, uh, what, 30, 40 yeah. years, except for a few years in between, have been in Lakeland. And how does that bode well for us in, in renewing that agreement? Oh, uh, immensely. Uh, you know, we want to be the Omaha. What Omaha is to right, college exactly. baseball, we want to be that to, to uh, high school athletics and high school mm -hmm. basketball. And, and you're right. I think uh, particularly in wrestling and, and basketball, both boys and girls, I think that they look at it like, they're coming to Lakeland. We have, we have teams come in at the beginning of the season. They'll come in and do a walkthrough in the arena, and, and, and they want to charge their players up. And the coach will drive them in from all over the state and say, this is what we're working for. This is where we want to come back to, and this is where we want to be playing come February. Well, it's interesting. We just had the uh, National Softball Association Girls Fast Pitch Me World Series opening ceremonies at the Lakeland Center. Mm -hmm. And Hugh Cantrell and uh, uh, some of the other directors, Hugh, of course, is the president, they're just blown away. They said, you guys 
are always first class. Yeah. And th that's the statement, that's the reputation that precedes Polk County, Central Florida mm -hmm. uh, sports marketing and, and the area, uh, everywhere we go. And so when you treat customers like yep. that, you put on a good show and then Mark uh, Tolan, the magician out of, uh, and mentalist out of <laughs> Chicago, he was a trip, but uh, it, it just, it was, it just oozed first class and they were just thrilled and just so yeah. thankful that uh, the way it was set up, the food service, mm -hmm. everything was just We know that there are, there are bigger venues and we know there are newer venues and, and our staff works hard knowing that they've got to counter that. They've got to provide exceptional customer service um, to the client, to the patrons, to everybody that comes in That's to get difference. them to come back. And, yeah. and we, we talk about that a lot because, again, given those bigger, better facilities, the only thing that's going to set us apart is customer service. I think it also the image. I know the Lakeland Civic Center has not been the name for a long time, mm -hmm. and it's hard for people to get away from thinking of it as that, but it really isn't. It's not for the Rotary Club and the mm -hmm. Chamber. Some of those events are hosted there, but these are events that are bringing in people from all over the area, not just sports, but the entertainment. Talk to us a little bit about the entertainment side of, of the equation. Oh, we've got, a, we've got a great entertainment series, and we have our Broadway series uh, every year. Uh, we have our entertainment series, uh, which we were doing matinees and evenings. Mm -hmm. Now we're just doing evening shows shows rather than matinees and what that's allowed us to do is to spend a little bit more on the artist which brings up the level of the artist that we're bringing in mm -hmm. and um, they don't have to work twice in one day right. and there's some artists that won't work twice in one day mm -hmm. and so it really does provide us a new opportunity to do that same thing on the Broadway side we're trying to bring in a little bit more contemporary shows that people want to see um, you know it, it can't all be this the old standards and that's where we're bringing in this year for instance Rock of Ages mm -hmm. should be a great show we're bringing in uh, God's Bell. We're bringing in Beauty Which was and the hot Beast. Back in the 70s, I oh, remember when yeah. that first came out. Disney's Beauty and the Beast, Sweet Charity, diapers, but I uh, West Side Story, a classic. So we've got a mix of the classics, mm -hmm. and we've got a mix of, of contemporary shows that we'll have on our Broadway series. Well, you've got some comedians coming in. Mark Russell, uh, the uh, the Cirque Dreams Holidays. What is that? Cirque Dreams Holidays is a holiday show in the in the the mode and the methods of Cirque. Mm -hmm. You're going to see acrobatics, you're going to see illusion, you're going to see uh, music and dance, all in, the, in a holiday theme, but in the, in the theme of Cirque, as you, as you would see whenever you go see any other Cirque show. Is that going to be in the arena or is it going to no, be in it, Yuki? It's in the Yuki Theater. It's one night in the Yuki Theater. Um, we did one a few years ago, not in the holiday theme, but we did a Cirque show. And it was fantastic in the theater. And, and this show will be as well. It's going to be a good show. And it's, it's a good way to kick off the holiday season. Yeah, but you've also got the headliners. You know, you've got the big names like Ron White. I mean, there, yeah. there's that's, not too that's many. That's his hero. Yeah, Ron, oh, he White. Just, Ron yeah. White's been there. He sells out every time he comes in, which is great. <laughs> he, tries to, he, he tries to show up about every 18 months in a venue like ours mm -hmm. when he knows he can be successful. Right. Been a little bit longer this time, so we're pretty sure that it will sell out. And we've also got Drew Carey coming mm -hmm. in. These are off-the-series shows, but again, Jerry Lewis, too. Jerry Lewis is on the series. Um, this is I one thought of those, he was dead. You say, well, a lot of people did. But, you know, this is an opportunity. He's got his health back, you know, wow. and, oh, yeah. and he, he's really in pretty decent shape for his age. But he's not going to do stand-up. What he's going to do, he's going to come and sit. He'll probably sit on a, a chair. Mm -hmm. And he'll um, share with the audience clips and talk about clips from his movies uh, you know, his experiences in, in, in the old days with Dean Martin and so mm -hmm. on. You know, it certainly he'd be funny. I right. mean, it's not expected to be, you know, just a, a, a serious evening. He will be funny. But it's an evening with Jerry Lewis. And we didn't want to pass up the opportunity to do it because he is getting up there. But he, he's a legend. We all grew up with him, and you don't want to miss it. Timing on that one it will be uh, real interesting. When, when does he come in? He's coming in in, in, uh, in the spring, I believe, in January. Okay, so you're going to have late, a late. lot of snowbirds oh, yeah. that will just, like, flock. We, I mean, we that'll be sold out. We try to show. centralize most of our entertainment series shows and non-series shows in those months between um, November, October, November, and mm -hmm. all the way into April. Because we, we certainly want to do it when the market's full of the snowbirds and so on, mm -hmm. but we want to do it when our visitors here as well. Yeah. You know, this is something we, we try to, to target the hotels, because you know, as your goal to put the heads in beds, mm -hmm. our goal is to give them something to do while they're here. They'll right. come and they may go to, to Orlando, or they may go to Legoland, or they may come and see a, an event in the area. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, too, we want to make sure they know about the things that we're doing because right. it provides an entertainment option while they're here. Well, right. I might I don't see them stay. spend that. The yeah, yeah. Canadians spend their loonies. Yeah. That's what the Canadian dollar is <laughs> called: is loony. We love the Canadian dollars, particularly when we do the Snowbird Spectacular in <laughs> January. It. 
Well, how can people get information about, uh, you know, I've got this neat piece here, but uh, where are they at best, and best what can thing, they do online? Yeah. Best thing now is go to our website. We just redid our website. Right. We're really proud of it. We've made it really user friendly. Um, all the work was done in house. I show you how capable our marketing staff is. All this incredible materials they put together is done in house. But they redone the website. House. This is done in, in, in house. It's fantastic. Neil stole mine already. And, um, so but the website is the best way to do it. Uh, they can get on and get information about any of our shows. They can go right to our website and order tickets. Um, they can order parking. They can even order meals mm -hmm. if they want to order dinner before right. one of the shows. We do a pre-show dinner before the entertainment Broadway series shows and some of the off-series shows. Has that been pretty well. successful, Mike? Yeah, yeah, it's getting more successful. In fact, we encourage people if they're going to come to dinner, make a reservation, because what happened for years you didn't have to make a reservation. Then all of a sudden it got more popular, and the people who weren't make it, were making reservations just show up and we're sorry, we're sold out. Right. It's like oh, you know. Like what do you serve? Um, it's great. They usually serve. Um, it's buffet style. But the chef always does some specialties. The chef will usually do, they'll carve beef. They'll have uh, pasta stations where they're doing a pasta. Oh, that's cool. Um, so usually there's some type of action station, and then there's some type of non-action station. So, but you can always generally get fish, chicken, beef, or chicken, mm -hmm. uh, or, or some combination, um, salad, vegetable, tea, the whole nine yards. Wow, and, good stuff. And what about so the rodeo? Rodeo's coming again, 30, 35. 35 years of uh, the rodeo, working with Leroy Mason from out at River Ranch. He does a great show. He's a partner with us on that event, and uh, we're looking forward to it. It sells out every year, so get your tickets early on that get one. Get those good tickets, because if you get down low enough when they do the, the barrels, oh, the barrel racing, you get, get hit with the dirt. You can get hit with the dirt a little bit. And other stuff. And oh, other right. stuff. They, they, they had rodeo monkeys last year. That's my favorite. <laughs> they come Everybody every loves as well. Yeah. It's, it's usually, we usually well. find some novelty act to fit oh. in there as well. Rodeo monkeys He's easily is the best part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need an novelty act. Maybe we can get Hank and Mark some here. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't even come from me. That came from me. <laughs> that was a good one. What's the website again? Uh, www.thelakelandcenter.com. Wow. Uh, Unbelievable. What a difference. The Lakeland Center now mm. versus seven, eight, ten years ago. It's a great mm. place. Night and day. Good staff. You know, you, and you want to know one of the, the biggest differences? There's fewer local events and much more yeah. outside people coming in is what makes our economy that much stronger because mm -hmm. it's new dollars coming into the community Driving thanks to the what Mike's efforts mm -hmm. and, and what he's doing. So our great partners over at the Lakeland Center, Mike, we uh, certainly appreciate what you, you do and all the time and effort. It's been, uh, it's been a blessing for Polk County. So we enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you.